It is early in the morning on the Mediterranean Sea, and I am blessed to be spending time with a group of Arabic leaders of refugee ministries from around the Middle East. And one of the topics that I was sharing with them this week, it comes really from Psalm 42, um, where David writes, as a deer pants for water, so his soul pants to be with God. And so I shared a little bit of how we can even put a smile on God's face when we come to spend time with him and to be still and be reminded of how great God is and how much he loves us. And so one of my illustrations comes from my, my kids at home. We have three children and the boys are now older teenagers. And even though they love me, they no longer um, show that strong desire to spend time with me. They can easily choose to go spend time with their friends rather than spend time with their dad at this stage of life. But their younger sister is 11, and thankfully she loves to spend time with me. And she um, just blesses my heart by her excitement of anything we do together. And so once a month, we set aside a special time for a daddy-daughter date. And every month um, when we have that day, whether we go for coffee or whether we go for a walk in a park, the very next day she is telling me how much she anticipates the next daddy-daughter day. When can we go again, Father? When can we go spend that time again? And it's not about what we're doing. It's more about the fact that she just enjoys being with me. Well, I think about how much God, our Heavenly Father, feels the same way about us. He loves all of us and, and doesn't get tired waiting for any one of his children to come spend time with us, but he wants us to have that faith and that heart of my youngest child who is always looking forward to the next time and has that pure joy of simply being with him. You know, the blessing is not about getting physical blessings or having specific prayers even answered. It's more about enjoying the presence of God, being with Him, and recognizing that nothing else really matters if we can protect that primary relationship with God, our Heavenly Father. May you be blessed as you sit and reflect on just one key verse from Hebrews 11:6 that reminds us God will bless us simply for coming to spend time with Him in faith.